A public spending watchdog has warned the BBC to expect lower income from TV licence fees soon. Sounds good, right? Let's take a look at this story. Hi, me again. And as I mentioned at the beginning there, the National Audit Office has warned the BBC to expect lower licence fee income soon. Let's have a look at this story. The BBC has been warned to match its priorities and future strategy with an assumption the licence fee income may fall further still. Public spending watchdog, the National Audit Office, this morning released a report on the public broadcaster saying the BBC faces significant financial challenges even before any change is made to licence fee decriminalisation. Negotiations between the media giant and the government over its funding model began in November, while Westminster is also mulling decriminalisation of not paying the licence fee. The Beeb said the latter would hit his finances by one billion by 2027. Now remember the year 2027 because that is when the charter expires and the new rules will come into place about the license fee. And you know, it could go either way. They could go commercial, they could scrap the license fee, make it a subscription service, or they could move it on to some other countries like they put it on the phone bill or their electric bill or the council tax bill. 2027 is when you're gonna see with a real change. And the more of us that cancel, our TV licenses now, the more of us that push back towards the BBC, that's how we're going to win. That's how we're going to win. There's no other way. Anyway, let's read the rest of this story. We'll come back to all that. Fee income has already sunk 8% in two years to 3.5 billion after some government funding was withdrawn. The National Audit Office said the BBC had already made significant cutbacks and at around 618 million already slashed from budgets, was on track to meet a five-year goal to make savings of 800 million by 2021-22. However, it may not be enough. With the current health crisis, but also a long-term change in viewing methods and habits threatened to hit the BBC's finances further. For three of the past five years, the BBC's costs have outstripped its income, with it making a loss of 119 million in 2019-20, which it plugged with a dwindling pot of cash reserves, the National Audit Office report said. Now remember, that's just the BBC, the license-funded BBC. They may have made a loss, which would be backed up by government or their own little pot of money, whatever, right? But don't forget, the BBC also have BBC Studios, which is a commercial entity that sells the shows that you paid for with your TV license fee all around the world. And it sells them to Netflix, it sells them all around the world, different countries, different streaming services, and it makes a lot of money. Also, the BBC own the UK TV networks, so Dave and Gold and all that, and they make a profit by showing adverts on the old BBC shows that you paid for long ago with your TV license. So don't be fooled into thinking the BBC made a loss of money in a year. They did not. They just, the TV licensee part of the BBC may have, but the BBC as a whole with the studios and everything else, no way. No way did they make a loss. They made a lot of money, but they're not going to tell you that because they need to be skimped. So you pay them the license fee so they can survive. Bastards. New BBC Director General Tim Davey set out four priorities upon joining the broadcaster last year. A renewed commitment to impartiality, a focus on unique high impact content, extracting more from online and increasing commercial income. However, the public spending watchdog wants Davey to spell out exactly how those goals will be funded as well as provide another savings target. Gareth Davies, the head of the National Order Office, said the BBC faces significant financial challenges as it embarks upon license fee negotiations and its mid-term charter review. It has made significant cost savings and has identified the need for more with license fee income under pressure. So basically there, the National Audit Office is saying the BBC are on the ropes. They're struggling, the BBC arm of it, as we said earlier, with the TV license fees, not giving them enough revenue. Do you know the best way to give them a better gut punch is persuade as many people as you can to cancel their TV license. I've got done a video on it, I'll put it below. There's a video on how to persuade people to cancel their licenses, and there's one letting people know everything they can watch, which is a lot, without a TV license. So I'll put the links below. Make sure you share them with everybody. Share it on your social media, share it on your Facebook, if you use Facebook still, Twitter, everywhere you go, do share it. And also, there's some links below. Get a T-shirt. There's T-shirts down there saying, I canceled my TV license fee, ask me how. You know, get one of those and start a conversation with some strangers and let's get as many people as possible to cancel their TV licenses. So leave your comments below on this story. We'll have a bit of a chat about it. While you're down below looking at the links and leaving your comment, there's a few buttons you can press. There's a subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps me out when you do that. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit the subscribe button and you'll get to know 
about my latest videos when I release them. It's also a like button if you like this video that I made here for some reason. You can hit the like button if you didn't like it. Button for that as well, but don't press that, it's a bad button. And I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching. Or oh, before you go, down below in the description and the first pinned comment, you'll find some links to my Amazon store and my Teespring store. Now, if you buy anything from these stores, the Amazon one's got loads of TV related stuff on there. And the Teespring store has got a few TV licensed t-shirts and mugs and things like that. And anything you buy, I get a little bit of a commission. And that all goes towards funding my website, tvlicensestop.co.uk, which helps loads of people every day with the information they need to cancel their TV licenses. And by buying something from down below and getting me a little kickback, you can be a direct part of helping support the fight and support these people who want to cancel their TV license. So thank you very much. You can go now. Bye-bye.